I am very and deeply apologetic for any emotional pain and stress you, your family, and anyone close to Renee has gone through since this incident. I can only assume that the pain of loss will continue to linger in your life after today, and I just hope and pray that you can find strength in God. I am pretty sure you have been waiting to be able to hold someone responsible since day one, but the fact of the matter is that I'm not responsible for the death of Renee. Just the way the judge amended the wording of the indictment halfway through my trial to fit the prosecution's theory points to obvious uncertainty. But what does the prosecution do? Instead of saying, hey, maybe we have the wrong person, they continue to not only prosecute me, but also lie so as not to make their own office look bad. And in doing so, they took away the opportunity to hold the correct, correct person responsible for their actions. It's obvious from this case alone that there's no true justice in this justice system. This whole thing has been nothing but publicity for the court. That's the true reason that Judge Sparazza allowed the change of the wording or others into the indictment. It was obvious that I was innocent of murder, and because of that, Judge Sparazza changed the wording of the indictment with the hopes that her influence as a judge and her intimidation as an authority figure would do the trick and persuade the jury into convicting me. But in all reality, to any observant person, she made herself look unprofessional and desperate. I mean, just look around this courtroom. Where are these four others? That's what I would like to know because I don't see them anywhere. Throughout this whole trial, no media cameras were allowed in the courtroom. Now look around. The answer is very simple. Publicity. Judge Perez finally gets her chance to speak out. And she wants everyone to see the big bad judge hard at work. Well... I'm sorry to break the news to you, Your Honor, but what you allowed in my trial was completely wrong and unjust, a violation of my rights. There are no excuses you can make that will justify your fabricated reasoning. Your actions are worse than those of most of the people who you sentence in this courtroom on a regular basis. You made the changes that you did so you could have the satisfaction to sentence an innocent man to 25 years to life on television. But it doesn't matter to you whether I'm guilty or not, as long as you get the privilege to be heard and seen. You disgrace the title honorable, and you don't deserve to have it in front of your name. You would not be able to do all, be able to do all that you do if it were not for God. And all you do is abuse your power and authority as a judge. Unbelievable you are. I just pray that God forgives you. Now, I'm not saying that I'm 100% innocent because I'm not, and this is already established at trial. But I am not responsible for the death of Renee. All I ask is that the family can find it in their hearts to one day to be able to forgive me for any pain that I may have caused them my actions, and please, please don't hold me responsible for an act that I didn't commit. And once again, I pray that God is your refuge, and that you and your family will seek his strength and guidance in these tough times.